Hi everyone, this is Mom Loves to Collect and today I just wanted to share how I store all of my doll's clothes and accessories. I've got some over here and over here. So let me start over here. I recently got these cute little bins and the labels are from the Dollar Tree, but I ran out, so for that one I had to write it in. Um, and for this one I had to use some letters. But these little bins, I got them, I believe it was a, I wanna say a six pack on Amazon. And these are so cool. It's like the perfect size for accessories, for clothes, for everything. So this one, as you can see, I have all of my Barbie bags. They are all in here. I even have the um, the little booklets and the stickers. I'm definitely still looking for this one here. That was my dog, by the way. <laughs> uh, she wants to be in all of Mama's videos. So this one, as you see, I labeled bags. And then over here, I've got like um, some of my Christmas items, Halloween, Disney. I've got a lot of Disney um, clothes. And this one is all of the little kids like Skipper and Tommy and Chelsea and who's the other girl? All the little kids. <laughs> Here I have two piece items that go together as well as um, sports items like bowling and tennis and things like that. This bin is for Ken's clothes. And uh, these ones with the pink lid are the same size as this one. And these I actually got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I believe it was right before the pandemic or during the pandemic. I can't really remember. But these were so awesome. And for some reason, they stopped carrying them. And unfortunately, I only bought like maybe six of them as well or four can't even remember but in here I have all of Ken's clothes love it and I've been looking for them for the past two years couldn't find them at all they've been sold out online at the Dollar Tree for like forever and so that's when I went ahead uh, last year and um, I got these guys Ooh, that one went flying and so let me show you they're not that much different so I was very happy to find these it is let's see I think I can from the lid you can tell probably better than from the actual buckets the lids can tell you a little bit about the size this one is a little wider and a little um, yeah a little wider and a little taller let me see no, not really. Nope, I'm wrong. Uh, just a little wider is what it is. It's wider here, and then it's longer. Like, if I put this one all the way to the edge, this one comes out a little more. This one stops here, and this one stops over here. So, it's a little longer going, I guess, lengthwise, and a little wider. But height-wise... I would say this one is a smidgen taller, the, the little blue lids. And here are the lids side by side, so you can really get a better, I think you can see that, get a little better idea. See? So it's a little longer, a little wider. But it's a perfect substitute for not being able to find these. So I was so thrilled that Amazon had something comparable. I ended up having to measure these pink ones because there's so many different ones online and you can find some at um, Walmart and Target, but nobody seemed to have the dimensions that I wanted because I definitely wanted these. Um, but these came the closest. If anybody is interested in these, I can go ahead and try to link uh, the uh, Amazon, um, you know, <laughs> how I got them basically. So what I have here is a mixture of the pink ones from the Dollar Tree and the blue ones from Amazon. So there I've got my skirts, I've got pants as well as shorts. I've got all kinds of uh, gowns, obviously. <laughs> it says gowns, right? <laughs> and then in here I have everything that looks like a jacket, even if it's sleeveless and long, short, whatever. And then, so that is my clothes. And then my little kids, I don't have a place for my little kids, sadly. 
So all my little kids basically live in here. I know, so sad, even the babies. I want a better storage system for my little guys and I don't know uh, what to do. So they're living there for now. And then over here is where I have more of the accessories that um are smaller so they're not in like the bigger bins so this guy is super old i think it's from my daughter's childhood and i love it they're hard to find and when you do find them they're very expensive so this one has the little kids shoes and i put all the uh, headphones in here because oh boy do we have a lot of headphones tons and then over here i put uh, little accessories that don't seem to fall in an actual like category and I also save that from um, our human birthdays in case we need it we've got a little gift box that came with one of the dolls recently got a um, trophy got a map um, just basically miscellaneous accessories are those guys and then this one's simple I only have hair brushes and hats like big hats i'm trying to um get rid of some of these so i had more but i'm definitely going to get rid of them and i had tons of hairbrushes gotten rid of a lot of those and i still have a few that i've accumulated that i'm going to give away and in here i have accessories and uh, these trays i find them at like michael's hobby lobbies I think I found a couple at Didi's Dee Discount. So here I have all the little things. I've got jewelry, glasses, socks, uh, crowns, little miscellaneous items, all kinds of things that fall in the accessories category. Right, Bella? You want to say hello? <laughs> yeah, you want to say hello? And then in here, I've got the boys' shoes. So this is all Ken's shoes. And this guy is the same as this guy. And what I like about this little bin is that it has, on this side anyway, a long piece. So you can fit like taller items like boots. And like over here, we have like a surfboard. So, And then the rest is the, the men's shoes, boys' shoes. So I got that. And then, last but not least, I have all the girls' shoes. And this one, I believe, I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's a craft organizer or a bead organizer. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what the name of it was. But the cool thing about this one is it has dividers, these little guys. That Let's see if I can do it here. These can move. So if you need it for bigger shoes like this, I just took out the one that goes across and was able to... Uh, make these longer so that I could fit all those because I wanted like all the pink ones together and I definitely need it longer for the boots for instance and then I did try to put them in the colorful rainbow order so that is it for how I organize my dolls clothes this one here is just um like a craft bin that I've never even did anything with but I bought these cute little um things from the Dollar Tree to make bookshelves and see i started it but didn't finish it this is a popsicle stick also from the dollar tree in here i have some sewing items that i want to do in here i have a barbie sewing machine and some of the accessories this holder here is holding the um scissors and all kinds of things for barbie and then that is just my flowers that i used to use for um photographing books but i don't uh, take care of my books page anymore really um in terms of taking photos um so that is it please like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye